Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here again. Well, as you can see, I have my Platamerius Bagatus, my white spotted assassin bugs. There's one there, one at the back, and there's one just underneath that court bark there. So, they've been laying eggs, and there's one just there. Um, I found around about 10 in total. So let's just take the lid off and have a look round. So everyone, I've taken the lid off and you can see a few eggs just there as well. And there is a fair few lying around under the substrate. Sometimes they're a little bit hard to notice, but as I said, I've showed you that one there as well. So I've found two nymphs and I've put them into separate pots and they are freshly malted as well. So let's um, show you the first nymph. So everyone, this is the first one. And you can see there's the malt just there. Uh, it's looking absolutely huge now. Um, I've noticed their abdomens get very, very large. And they get like a red colour. Um, I don't know if that's because they're a bit younger. And as they get older, they lose their colour on the abdomen. But uh, yeah, it's freshly malted this morning. So let's just... Um, take the malt out but you can see the size difference between the malt and the actual nymph so let's just take that out so what I'll do is I'll probably leave them for a couple of days let them harden up a little bit and then I will offer them some food so please stay tuned for that um, video coming up very soon so yeah that one's looking perfectly fine so Let's just give it a little spray of water, some water, so it can have a, a little drink. There we go. So yeah, let's put the lid on and let's um, show you the other one. So everyone, there's the second one. And you can just see the malt just on that right hand side there. So let's take out that malt as well. Same again, you can see the size difference. They're probably around about the same size now. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably rehouse this one into a bigger enclosure. So let's get a bigger tub for this particular nymph. So everyone, as you can see, I've got another sling pot, which is a lot, lot bigger than, than this one here. So you can see the size difference. And I've put some fresh substrate in there. And I've just sprayed it with a little bit of water. So it's got a bit more room to move around. So yeah, let's um, transfer this nymph into a bigger enclosure so everyone here goes let's just try and get it to come out of its old enclosure there we go all done so it should definitely log it inside its new enclosure so like I said I'll give them a couple of days to harden up and I'll give them a feed. And uh, please stay tuned for that video. And um, thanks for watching everyone. 